Hello, and welcome to another episode of Budget Buggies. Um, you'll notice that uh, it's not actually FIFA this time. I decided to put down FIFA for a bit um, and kind of actually start playing my Uncharted 3 copy that I got on release. Um, I haven't had a chance to touch it um, since then. And uh, I thought I'd just give it a spin, you know, actually use my PS3 once in a while. Um, and I have to say, I'm, I'm fairly impressed with what uh, Naughty Dog has done with Uncharted 3 here. Um, it's certainly not as striking as it was when I first, plays un uh, first played Uncharted 2 because it was new and, you know, I had no idea what I was in for. And Uncharted 3 is sort of uh, a better version of Uncharted 2, I guess. Um, so far, at least, uh, the parts that I've played. Um, and it seems like they really built on the legacy left behind by Uncharted 2, you know, the platforming, the stunning visuals. Um, the only gripes I've encountered in the mission so far is um, the control schemes. I don't know what it is that they changed, but I, w I was having, sl you know, a slight amount of trouble, um, you know, figuring out you know, what direction my character is going to climb in and things of that nature. Um, and you'll see me doing a lot of things that, you know, um, that just look like, what is this guy doing? Has he ever touched a controller before? And I don't know, it just, it just, uh, it just rubbed off on me the wrong way. I, I'm not sure. And uh, also in this playthrough, you'll notice that it's completely unedited. Um, I thought about editing uh, through it and I was, of the opinion that I just let people see what the raw gameplay is like, um, you know, warts and all with my uh, mistakes. And you can see there's a couple of places where I just kind of get stuck and I just wander around for a bit. Um, and you might be screaming, it's there, it's there. And, you know, I eventually get it, but, uh, you know, I had, I had some problem because it really feels like in the environment they put you in, you can go anywhere. Um, similar to how Assassin's Creed lets you just kind of go through the city. But at the end of the day, it's still a platformer, and so you can only go uh, to specific places. Uh, well, um, essentially, that's that's what the playthrough consists of: is 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 me kind of trying to make my way through the game. It's it's a real time way of how I play and the mistakes I make, um, and perhaps it it might highlight some things that you know. Uh, are difficult in the design, uh, maybe. Um, I don't know. Anyway, that's that's it for now. Um, and maybe I'll have another FIFA video soon, or or some more Uncharted gameplay. I don't know. I'm not really sure what um, I want to work on next. But uh, enjoy the rest. Whoa. Damn it, kid. Why, Victor, look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring. What ring? <laughs> Catherine! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast-off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! <laughs> <laughs> Stop that boy! Holy crap. He has the ring! Come on. Stop that boy! Holy crap. He has the ring!
break the door down. Oh God. He's heading for the roof. Catch it. Chains, break it. Hurry. Let go. Oh, shit. Oh crap. Who the hell are these guys? Enough of this! Uh. Shoot him! Now they're shooting at me? Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, you little shit! You're done! Gotta. We've got him! <laughs> Excuse me, coming through. Hey, Gazaki! Sorry about that. Okay, kid. You can relax, kid. We're safe here. Go on. Let's 
suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense. But I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Solomon. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but... Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was gonna take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, uh, so... Like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, hey, well... Anyway... I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So, it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me, and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? Okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. They're gone. All right, lads? Uh, 
<laughs> oh, God. Bet you were gonna put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you've got no sense of drama. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. All that racket's gonna bring the cops any minute. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. All right, all right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Uh, you were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on this good side. All right, Brad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. And now we just follow them back to their hole. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. I do? Let's get moving. Hurry it up, Nate. Shit. The filth. This way. What? Come on. Really? Come on, Charlie. What's the holdup? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, oh that wasn't too bad. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing, I'm fine. That's blocked. Wait, we can get around this way. Yeah, yeah, right. Or we could just use a little muscle. Oh. There's a thought. The wall's too high. Here. Let's move this thing over there. I got it. Put your back into it, mate. We haven't got all bloody night. Thanks for the help.
Come on, move your lazy asses. All right. Looks like the coast is clear. You should be more careful with your head, you know it. <laughs> Evening, lads. All right, darling. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Ah, uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for there my taste. Go. <laughs> my ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> oh, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, that's funny. Do you have any trouble? No. <sighs> Easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door's scary pop inside him behind? Behind that one there. The green one. They drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. And no one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in, and we sneak out. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? Man, I was sorely tempted to just pick up that briefcase back there and walk. Yeah, you got a lousy poker face, man. Hey, trust me, that's nothing compared to what we're onto. Yeah, well, at my age, a bird in the hand, you know. Ew. Didn't I tell you? Oh, please. Look, I just hope you're right about this. Seems pretty quiet. Think they're still in there? Well, we're not gonna just barge in the front door and find out. Well, we can't afford to waste time standing here. I'll find a way in and check it out. You three stay here. Got it. Wait a minute, where did it go? Wait a minute, where did it go?
Where the hell did they go? This doesn't make any sense. Anybody see a car? Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I'm sure this is the right one. Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Uh, Nate, we are losing time here. And that damn briefcase is looking better and better. All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. Just spread out and look around. They were here, all right. I can still smell the exhaust. Tire tracks. Still wet from the rain. Looks like the car turned here. Hey, check this out. Kind of mechanism. Yeah, maybe. Four tires, four points of contact. Sully, stand right there. You two, back there and there. All right, everybody, on three. Ready? One, two, three. And? Well, this has got to be it. Wait, it's the light. Sully, aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. Well, I have a goddamn cadaver. Um... Nate, just who are we dealing with here? Well, there's only one way to find out. We'll track the car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, all right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. Well, I think we agree this is more than a little weird. Who the hell drives their car underground? Oh, well, let me think. Someone who doesn't want to be followed, you know, it's just a guess. Smart ass. It looks like they bored straight into the old service tunnels.
dead end. Well, then we'll just have to find a way around. It's locked. Not for long. Should be able to squeeze through here. I think. Lead on, McDuff. Oh, for God's sake. What? Lay on. It's lay on, McDuff. Can we hurry it along, please, mate? All right, back there? Yeah, yeah, you know, just, just not keen on the old tight spaces, that's all. all right, just keep moving. Where the hell is Macduff? Is there no bottom to your ignorance? <laughs> What's that? I see them! <laughs> oh! oh yeah, nice one, mate. Thanks. Keep the silencer, kid. Okay. Tunnel's right below us. At least we're still on the right path. down. Ugh. Careful, it's slippery. shooting. Hey, there's a passage up there. And a ladder. Yeah, looks like it's jammed though. Let me see if I can loosen it. Here it comes. Well done, mate. Looks like there's some sort of gate up there.
All right, ready? Pull. Got it. Okay, Charlie, come on. the tunnel again. That's too far to drop there. We'll break our damn necks. Crap. It's a dead end. Down here. Where the hell are we headed now? Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? I don't know, mate, but whoever they are, they are seriously weird. <sighs> Look at the ironwork. Well, it's got to be Victorian, maybe older. Man, all this stuff's been rusting for a century. Maybe we can get through here. Oh, no way we're moving. I don't think so. Uh. Hey, wait. There's a counterweight up there. Looks like it's stuck. All right, one of us should climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. Good idea. Guess who? <laughs> Was there? That ought to work. There we go. Got it. Yep. Take it to him. Right. 
We're through. I'll meet you on the other side. <clears throat> what the hell is this place? <clears throat> oh shit, get down! Thanks for having our back. Hey, there's Marlo's car. All right. From here on, no more guns. Hands up. Oh, I don't know. We must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, is this King's Cross? Don't move. Hey, hey. Hey, you got us all wrong, man. We're from Cleveland. Oh, welcome, mate. That a boy. What kind of place is this? I've never seen anything like it. Some sort of train station or something. Yeah, yeah, but it's got to be almost 200 years old. Jesus, just when you think things can't get any weirder. Done, boys. Come on. They must have gone through here. And it gets weirder. Oh, this stonework. Looks like Tudor. 16th century. This way. Quietly, Nate. Hey, over here. No, 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 seriously. Who are these people? I'm not interested Shh. in your excuses. He was a loose cannon, and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but... Not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. 400 years of searching. Finally, Drake's secret will be revealed. What is this? I don't understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. 
Cutter. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. This is quite the operation. Look at all this stuff. Ew. Nate, focus. We haven't got much time here. Yeah. Yeah. What are you... Do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. Yeah, it's not just any book, wise ass. It belonged to T.E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know who he is. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They? Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, oh, oh so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? Right. Here we go. L O H D N. Huh. What is it? Uh, it's long hidden. What? Shh, shh. No shit, long hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense, mate, but your ancestor was a right arsehole. Just shut up. It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's gotta be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. What the hell are we looking for, anyway? The Golden Hind. Could it be a model? Maybe a painting. Well, what makes you think it's even here? It's got to be here. Well, it could be at Buckland Abbey for all we know. What? Buckland Abbey. It's a place you've never been there. Move on. Well, there's a chair there made from the wood of his ship. Maybe it's hidden in there. Yeah, I suppose it could be, but... No. No, it's got to be here. This place is amazing. The things in here must be worth a fortune. Nate, we can't be screwing around like this. They'll be back any minute. Yeah, come on, mate. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> 